What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Gondola. Now, this game popped up the other day on Game Jolt, and I really love these style of games. I just want to point that out. You guys know I've played a lot of these kind of emotional, polygon-style world graphics where it's all really about, like, the story and the music that you're going through when you go through the entire level. Um, I played a couple of games like that, like This Is Forever and the other one, which was Nokosu, I believe is what it was. Uh, or that might have been the developer. Anyway, I don't remember. I played both of his games, and his games were really cool. He's actually one of the developers that worked on Quadrant, which is like going from Quadrant, which is a horror game, to those games that he was playing was like, whoa. But uh, I really love those style of games. So this is a student-led project. Um, it's a group of students that came together to make a game about riding on a gondola, and it's your job to kind of figure out the story and to more or less get the gondola moving so that you can continue through it. I don't know exactly how long this game is, but it looks kind of appealing, it looks colorful and whatnot, and I like the style of the game, so I wanted to check it out and see what it has to offer. Oh, okay. So again, it is going to be very, very simple looking in how everything works because that's just this particular style, which again, I played a lot of games like this. I particularly like it. Granted, it might seem, it is a little basic. Actually, it's extremely basic. I will absolutely admit that. But that's just the styling of the game and it's just a student-led project. It's just a simple little game and that's how it goes. Oh, wow, there's actually like, okay, there's, so, oh, I'm already going. All right, there's a lot. Hello, darling, in case you come back when I'm, Gone, no worries. I'm at the forest for a couple of hours. Search for food. I'm back soon. Ben. I just throw the piece of paper away. Can I throw it out? Okay. Alright, bye piece of paper. What's this say? Babe, I'm out gathering firewood, so we'll have enough when you're back. Ben. There's a lot of papers in here. Okay. I was searching I was searching for you. I was I'm assuming it's supposed to say, I'm searching for you yesterday, but it got dark, so I went home. Sadly, where are you, honey? Are you hurt? I'll go out tomorrow and keep an eye. And keep on searching. Hope you're not lost and you find your way back home. Caro, I miss you every second. You're gone. Every minute. Every hour. Ugh. Alright, uh, you know you're making it really hard to wait for your, for, wait for your surprise. I won't open my present until you're back, honey. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Caro, not sure if I miss you constantly or you're still back. Or you're still back, but if you come back while I was gone, please wait for me. Okay, so... This guy and maybe his wife or his girlfriend, whatever you want to say, are living in this mountain region because something happened. Because it sounds like they're trying to scavenge for food or whatnot, and the gondola seems to be like the safest place. So, a week has passed and you're still not back. You've never been out that long. I don't know how long I can keep waiting for you. Where are you? To be out, excuse me, to be out this long for just your birthday present is really not necessary. I'm really worried about you. Wish you were back soon. Okay. Okay, you do not want it in any- you do not want it in any other- wait. Okay, you do not want it any other way, pretty girl. I will search in every little corner and turn every goddamn rock to find you. This was definitely the first and last time I let you go out on your own. When you come back, you won't ever be alone again. I promise that to you. Why is that one crossed out? A storm is brewing. I hope you're safe. As soon as the weather gets better, I'll come and search for you. I thought a bear was wandering around yesterday, so I'm gonna take the gun with me. Hope I find you soon. Can't stop thinking about you. I think I found some tracks, but I doubt it's yours. I can't imagine what could happen to you. You should come back soon. I can't wait any longer. If you're not back until tomorrow night, I have no choice but to come and get you by force. That's kind of not the best thing. Seems there'd be another a thing up there. Uh, a building or something. I still could not find you. It's getting colder and colder and the sun sets earlier these days. I'm so exhausted. I don't think I can keep on doing this for long. My only chance would be... Excuse me, it would be the mountains which I've been avoiding because I know that it's too steep and that you get that you get easily scared. But I've been almost everywhere downhill and though it might be unrealistic, I have to try it. It's my last hope. Oh my god, I'm so sorry for what I thought. I'm just so desperate and don't know what to do without you. I beg you, come back to me, my love. Please, I'm here with you. I'm here without you, baby. I'm here without you, baby, and you're still on my lonely mind. Isn't that part of a song? There are just a few parts down here where I have not been yet, so I'm going to search for you there. Okay, so I'm at another place. So I found all the notes. So what I'm gathering from this is... I don't know if it's like these two people ran away and they're like living on this mountain with the gondola, which is kind of weird because don't you think there's somebody to maintain the gondola and make sure that's working so there's still going to be other people around? Or something happened in the world where there was like a, a tragic event 
and this gondola seems to still work somehow magically or whatnot and these people are living on this gondola because it's safe you know you can kind of ride it and you don't have to worry about animals coming attacking like a bear or something like that so and it seems like his girlfriend or his wife seem to kind of she vanished she went out to search for something and then she hasn't come back yet she went to try and oh that is a big burly man never mind so am i the wife oh there's a birthday present Oh. Hello, Ben. I'm really sorry that you have to find out this way. I'm really sorry you have to find it out this way, but I couldn't tell you in person. This is going to be the last thing you I'll ever hear from me. Yes, there that's night I won't come back. We did not we did not have a great time, but you're not totally obsessed with me. You won't even let me take a walk away without which is totally ridiculous. I also can't stand you sudden aggressive behavior. It scares the hell out of me. What makes it worse is that I just can't, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot forget that moment when you hit me. Since then, it frightens me every time you touch me and I'm always expecting you to hurt me again. I can't do this anymore. I couldn't tell you because I was afraid that you wouldn't let me go. So I left. I'm sorry, Caro. Oh, never mind. Wasn't his wife, was boyfriend? Husband, whatever you want to go with. Lover. We'll go with lover. We'll just say lover because I know it's a whole controversy and thing and whatnot. Alright, so it seems like these two were living in the mountains, riding the gondola, living like that. And then this guy became so obsessed, so obsessed with Ben that he would not let him go anywhere by himself. Like if he went out just to like scavenge food or scavenge um, like firewood or anything along those lines, would not let him go. Literally just, okay, no, I'm going with you. It's like, dude. Give me five minutes or something. No, I'm going with you. Like, doesn't matter who you are, what it is. If you live with somebody, if you're married, anything like that, you need time apart. You can't spend every waking moment together because eventually you're just going to start hating each other. You need a little bit of a break every once in a while. It's total, absolutely human nature because, I mean, we want to be with other people. It's human nature to be with other people, to feel love from another person, I guess you could say. But you also need to have some type of separation, whether it's going to work or going to hang out with friends while they go hang out with their friends, something along those lines, because eventually you're just going to start butting heads and you're going to find something that irritates you. And it could literally be the simplest thing, especially if you stay, if you're with somebody for long enough, like people who are married, like 10, 20, 30 years. I mean, you think it's funny, but there's a lot of people that are married, like, you know, almost a dec, half a decade whatever a decade is, I don't remember, married for like 20, 30 years, and sometimes they don't even sleep in the same bedroom. Like, if you notice a lot of older people, they'll sleep in separate bedrooms because they've been together so long, they can't like stand to be together, but they also can't stand the idea of being apart. Like, it scares them to not be together, which is kind of a crazy thing to think about. So you gotta kind of have some type of separation, and apparently Caro just would not, or was it Ben? Ben or Caro? I totally forgot their name. Who is who? One of them, would not let the other person go. I understand being worried. I mean, if you're walking around the mountains or whatnot, you know, you got to worry about something. You're falling and hurting yourself. You got to worry about an animal attacking you, anything along those lines. But, you know, you kind of trust them a little bit. You got to let them go. So that was a cool little game. It was very, very short. All it was was more or less one little gondola ride up the mountain. And then I was reading the notes as I got all the way up there. So I kind of evolved the story as I went. Uh, I don't think there was a particular way you were supposed to read them. I think it was just kind of find them. Oh my god, why is my nose suddenly freaking out? But that was a nice little game. I mean, it's very short. The music is very nice. I will absolutely admit this music is very calming. And I love this style of music. The story was actually well written. There was only a couple of words that were messed up or whatnot. And that last letter, I can't read cursive for shit because I can't write cursive. So it was a little hard for me to read. But other than that, nice little game. And it had a good point. Separation, it, it can help a little bit, you know, it's it's great to be together, great to be in love, all that type of thing, great to be, you know, with somebody, and the music just randomly stopped, it's great to be with somebody, but you gotta have a little bit of separation, otherwise you're gonna end up wanting to kill each other at some point, so, anyway, that was Gondola, that was a nice little game, developers, nice job, if you guys wanna check this game out for yourself, there will be a link to it in the description below, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, do you guys agree with me, do you guys disagree with me, I wanna ride up the Gondola one more time, actually, while I do this little outro, so I'll go ahead and Okay, click, the, click, the, click the button. There we go. Click the button. I think it's kind of cool how they're like living off of this thing. Alright, I just want to kind of ride this thing up and see what's here. Aside from the giant dot in the screen though, by the way, that's kind of a little bit uh, obnoxious or whatnot. But the game is kind of pretty too. I didn't actually really get to look out the gondola because I was reading the notes the entire time. Anyway, as I was saying... 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to check it out, again, link is in the description below. Developers, nice job. It was a super simple game. The graphics, was not a whole lot to it, but the story was kind of cool. And it had a good little message behind it. So, again, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Maniacs, out. Big budget games nowadays have clipping errors, so nothing wrong with that. Alright, so these... Oh, these beams must point to something. It's an old guitar. This forest is musical. I've heard of people arrange different objects in trees to play, like a musical drum set, just for fun. Holy shit, you can put the window down. Didn't even realize that.